Here I'm demonstrating the 17 natural notes. I'll give you the frets while I play them the first time through. O, one, three. O, two, three. O, two, three. O, two. O, one, three. O, one, three. Back down. Three, one, O. Oh. Three, one, O. Oh. Two, O. Oh. Three, two, O. Oh. Three, two, O. Oh. Three, one, O. Oh. You'll notice that they're just alphabetical, starting on E. E, F, G, A, B, C, D. E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And then the alphabet backwards. G, F, E, D, C, B, A, G, F, E, D, C, B, A. G, F, E. Notice that I keep my fingers as close to the fretboard as possible. When you're going from high to low, you plant the fingers in advance. So the third finger on G is really three fingers. Again, the third finger is three fingers. The second finger is really two fingers. For maximum benefit, by all means, spell it as you go. E F G A B C D E F. For maximum benefit, you should overlearn it. And for practice purposes, you can practice just small pieces at a time, like this. So you can break off tiny little pieces and work on it like that. The scale is like the road, and when you're reading music, it's like the map. The map tells you high or lower, fast or slower, but you need the highway, which is the scale, in order to play that. Improving on your scale will help your chord changes and everything else that you do on guitar. Serious guitar players put in serious practice on their scales and they need to be overlearned. So have fun and enjoy the benefits of your 17 natural notes.